In this video, I'm going to be building the best possible team for 1 million MT in NBA 2K23. My team, this squad is absolutely insane. You guys can take on to online, unlimited, clutch time, all these different game modes and have a ton of success with this team because I wouldn't say this is one of the best possible teams in the game, but this is a very good squad for 1 million MT. So at the starting point guard position, we are going to be running the Galaxy Bull Don Ol. I do believe he's the best point guard in the game. We'll talk about Penny Hardaway and some other point guards later in the video, but I do think Don Ol is the best point guard. He's 6'3 with a 6'8 wingspan and he's just going to be so nice on the offensive end he has a 92 three ball 92 mid range he's super fast 95 speed 95 acceleration he's actually going to be a very good defender as well 95 steel 95 lateral quickness with a 95 perimeter i mean shooting badges wise he's got hall of fame limitless range he's got tons a tons of good shooting badges on gold playmaking wise he's got a 94 ball handle 95 95 speed with ball and playmaking badge wise he's got hall of fame claim breaker dimer floor general hyperdrive handles for days quick first step and unpluckable as well so he's got some amazing hall of fame playmaking badges but where this card gets really really elite and the best point guard is when you go to the animation screen and you can see his jump shot is super super nice he's got the derrick rose base rudy gay upper which are both great bases and uppers on quick timing as well so a super fast jump shot that's going to be very easy to green and then he's got the uh, michael jordan dribble style one of the best dribble styles in the game and then he does have the russ size up the russell westbrook size up which is actually really nice for getting to the basket and then he does have the normal leaner as well so the card's going to be super good at going to the rim he's got some amazing dunk animations including the front clutches so he gets some crazy good dunk animations he's got a great jump shot super good defender at least on the perimeter all around for about 125,000 mt is going to be our starting point guard now for our starting shooting guard spot we are going to pair him next to a really good defender and a really tall shooting guard and that is going to be diamond luol dang who's only about i think 40,000 mt 35,000, and he's going to be a great six foot nine shooting guard with a seven foot wingspan and if you take a look at his defensive stats he's going to give us some amazing all-around defense 88 block 96 steel 96 lateral quickness 95 perimeter with an 88 interior defense even on the offensive end luol dang is still going to be really nice having a 93 ball 90 mid range and actually a pretty good jump shot like he's got the d mitch base on quick time he's got the mj dribble style and he does have the donovan mitchell size up as well which is kind of weird he has like the donovan mitchell size up and the Donovan Mitchell base. So what is this? Just Donovan Mitchell, but six foot nine. I'm not exactly sure, but Luol Dang, he's just going to be a great all around shooting guard. I mean, pretty cheap as well. Only about 35,000 MT. And I would say Luol Dang definitely going to be a top five shooting guard. Now at the starting small forward position, I don't think this guy necessarily is going to be the best small forward in the game. And I do think the guy we actually have on, we have on the bench, our backup small forward, I do believe is a better small forward than our starting small forward. But I do believe Harrison Barnes is going to be one of the best small forwards in my team. He's a super underrated card. Like at the small four position, I know he's about 100,000 MT, so it might be a little bit expensive because you also have to lock in for him. But this Harrison Barnes is super underrated. He's a six foot eight small forward with a six foot 11 wingspan. I mean, his stats are super well rounded. He's a great defender, 80 block, 88 steel, 88 lateral quickness, 88 perimeter, and an 80 interior. He's going to be great at going to the basket, 95 driving dunk, 95 vertical. So he's going to be a super good slasher with Hall of Fame limitless takeoff and posterizer as well. But where this card gets really, really elite is when you go into the animation screen you guys can see he's got his Harrison Barnes jump shot on quick timing which surprisingly enough is actually a very very good jump shot like super easy to green and it's going to be very fast as well and then he's got the MJ dribble style and the Kobe Bryant escape so this car can move pretty well got a great jump shot and going to be a very good rim runner as well and a great defender so Harrison Barnes for about 100,000 MT is going to be our starting small forward and then for our starting power forward we're going to pick up one of the best power forwards in my team and that is going to be the new Galaxy Bull Dolph Shays who obviously came on in that flash forward promo and we know by now this flash war promo brought some of the best cards into my team like some of the my team goats from past like 2k20 2k21 and just made these cards super overpowered once again like Dolph Shays an amazing power 46 foot 8 with a 7 foot 1 wingspan he is basically just a worse Bob Nedelecki because he's not as good of a defender as Bob but he's still not a bad defender but offensively I mean this is where the cards elite he's got a 93 ball 93 mid range 89 speed 89 acceleration I mean he does have 96 strength as well which is really nice jump shot wise he's got that Kyle Kuzma base which is one of the best bases in my team it's going to be on quick timing as well and then for your power forward he's actually got some really good movement with the MJ dribble style and the normal leaner as well Dolph Shea's price is a little bit finicky sometimes I see him for expensive sometimes I see him for about like 150,000 MT so I'd say he's about 150k normally and then shooting badge wise he's also got Hall of Fame catch and shoot corner specialist and limitless range on your power forward which is going to be super nice to have for only about 150,000 MT he is most likely the second best power forward in the game and then guys 
to round off the starting lineup we are going to pick up the best center in my team like easily the best center in my opinion and that is going to be pink diamond david robinson i mean this card is crazy cheap for how good he really is i mean the best center in the game is only about 200,000 mt maybe 250k at the most he's seven foot one with a seven foot five wingspan He's just going to be a great all-around center. It gives you some amazing defense. Can knock down three at a very, can knock down the three at a very high level. Super fast, 87 speed, 87 acceleration, and has one of the best big man jump shots in the game. So, D Rob all around best center in my team for about 200,000 MT. He is going to be our starting center. And then for the backup point guard position, we are going to go with what most people think is the best point guard in the game, and that is going to be Pink Diamond Penny Hardaway. I've kind of changed my mind. I do think Donald is a little bit better than Penny. If you like taller point guards, though, it's going to be great to have a guy like Penny Hardaway off the bench now i'm not exactly sure his price tag he's about 175 to 200,000 mt he's going to be a great point guard though six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan so if you guys like these taller point guards because they give you some great defense they have good player models in game yes he's not going to be the best offensively and stats wise this card really isn't anything too crazy but he's six foot seven at the point guard spot has a pretty decent jump shot and is good at getting to the basket so overall i would say for like the comp players or just in the comp setting he probably is the best point guard in my team for me though i like using donald more and think he's the better point guard but very debatable between the two but at the back of point guard position we are going to go with the pink diamond penny hardaway now the reason also why i'm having penny hardaway off the bench is because at the backup shooting guard spot, I'm going with the pink diamond Ricky Davis. Now, if you were to switch, you know, let's say, for example, Ricky Davis and Luol Deng. Now, if we look at our starting lineup, it's not going to be the greatest defensively. You know, we have two not really great defenders. I mean, Donald is definitely not a bad defender, but he's also six foot three at the point guard spot. And Ricky Davis really isn't a great defender. I mean, Harrison Barnes is decent, but that's why we have Luol Deng starting because he gives us the height. He gives us that great defensive wingspan. And for example, if I were to switch Penny Hardaway and Don Ole, it's kind of the same thing right now on the offensive end we don't really have like a main ball handler we don't have a guy to give the ball to to go score where if we were to switch you know penny hardaway and don old back to where they were now we have don old to kind of run the offense and then off the bench we have you know penny hardaway great defender six foot seven and then at the shooting guard spot we have ricky davis who's just going to give us some amazing offense i mean this ricky davis card still one of the best offensive shooting guards in the game for about eighty thousand mt maybe even a little bit less he's a shooting guard small forward six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan i mean you guys can take a look at the stats very well rounded on the offensive end but animations wise is where this card's really good he's got the oscar robinson upper which is one of the best uppers in the game he's got a great jump shot on quick timing mj dribble style t max size up and the paul george escape as well with the normal leaners i mean the card's got some great dribble six great jump shot and overall just going to be an amazing six foot seven shooting guard especially on the offensive end and then at the starting uh, small for i'm sorry i should say backup small four position is going to be pink diamond since nice pal and once again i think since he is a better small forward than harrison burns but if i were to switch it like this once again, we don't really have too much defense on the starting lineup. We might we might be a little bit, you know, small as well, having a six foot three point guard, six foot seven small forward, and a six foot eight power forward. So that's why, once again, we're gonna switch Harrison Barnes and Cincy Nice Pal. And also Cincy can kind of, you know, give a good secondary ball handler to a guy like uh, Ricky Davis. And overall, guys, Cincy just gonna be a great small forward for about 40,000 MT and then at the backup power four position I mean it's get, we're gonna have to go a little bit budget here but we're gonna go with uh, diamond throw Bailey because he's gonna give us some pretty good defense off the bench he's basically just a budget pink diamond Giannis for about 10,000 MT he's gonna be a power forward small forward six foot 11 with a seven foot wingspan I mean this throw Bailey card doesn't really give you anything too crazy I mean he does have hall of fame clamp breaker and quick first stab which is really nice to have on a six foot 11 power forward so you can definitely move at the power four position he's got a pretty good jump shot with his Romeo Lang for base so great jump shot you drive to the basket overall gonna be a great defender and then guys to round off the squad at the backup center position we're gonna go for the diamond chris hops porzingis i do believe he's still one of the best centers in my team and he's gonna give us some great offense off the bench so if you guys look at the squad here right like there's some there might be some players on the bench that are actually better than the people starting but it's just kind of you know being able to structure your lineup pair who who plays well with who and kind of matchups and stuff like that so for example if i were to switch chris Stops and d rob we're still like let's say i did this for example right let's say i wanted to do this because i wanted to go all all offense well yes yeah, so we're going to be a great offensive line but we're going to struggle on the defensive end and probably give up a ton of points right so what you want to do is kind of struck and then our bench right we'd have like really no offense like since he would probably be our main ball handler or penny hardaway so you guys gotta remember when you're building your squads obviously yes use the best players on the starting lineup but you want to be able to 
structure your lineup and pair guys who play well with each other and kind of you know worry about matchups like Dolph Shays is really good next to a guy like D-Rob because D-Rob is a great defender he's seven foot one so we can kind of afford to have a six foot eight power forward where if we have Kristaps that's not really going to work out too well because Kristaps isn't a good defender and isn't that fast so you guys kind of have to just know that when you're building squads but in my opinion guys this is going to be my best possible team for 1 million MT but let me know what you guys think about it and let me know some changes and some upgrades you guys would make as well but I'll catch you guys in the next one peace